Hello everyone and welcome back to another How It's Made video here at Daniel Diecast. Today in front of us is a frame of a precast shed that I have designed for a fellow diecast collector. The base of the structure in front of us consists of 11 standing beams with varying configuration depending on where they are in the frame. So here is one of them that I have printed out that is extra that I don't need. So this would be one of the side beams to be used. Let's see if I can get it to focus now. So as you can see, it has grooves where the side beams can fit into it and a hole where you can stick a lifting pin into it for the crane to lift. After that, then we have four uh, cross beams which provide stability to the structure and fit into the grooves of standing beam. So here's one of the side beams. And there is the hole that would fit into the groove that's on one of these standing beams. And it slots nicely in place. After that then there's smaller side beams which also fit into the grooves of the standing beam. And this one here in front of it is shaped like an L and that houses the roof panels or double T's as they're known as. Again, it just slots into place. Good structure. And here is one of our roof panels, our double T's as they're called. And again, we just slot into place like that. And we have a roof. Okay, a better angle to see that now. So this one comes with eight panels. And as I said, it's used as a shed for the collectors, vehicles, and we have our lovely AC220 here showing the size of the structure designed. Looks pretty sweet. Unfortunately, most of it I have already packed away, so I don't have the full structure complete. But I did grab a few pieces to put together to show what they look like. And there they are. So we have two large side panels, two, three smaller side panels, and then we have our window frames with our glass. Now again, they're just blue tacked together to hold in place. When you're putting the structure together, probably best to glue it to be on the safe side so it all fits together. Let's see if I can get a one of the glass panels now and show you what they look, look like up front. So there it is. Now the whole structure itself is all 3D printed, which isn't too bad. And the hex, I suppose the diagonal design will be the infill. I don't know why that's not focusing now for us. Will be the infill of the pattern, which I think gives a nice texture, a nice kind of design to the glass panel. So there you have it. That is the structure itself. Now, this is the suit dimensions. Obviously, you can design however big you want. If you wanted to do a big factory or an outlet like an Ikea or something like that, you can keep the same 
beams you just restructure it a little differently so yeah that's our video today on the precast shed if you have any questions leave them in the comments all the social medias will be linked down below and if you enjoyed this video i would really appreciate subscribing to the channel and giving this video a like have a good day